You know what people say? They always say, uh, words hurt. That's what they say. You gotta watch what you say, because words hurt. You know, anybody that says words hurt has never been punched in the face. <laughs> The words themselves don't hurt, it's how you choose to internalize them. English is the only language I speak, and sometimes I don't even speak that very well. If you, let's just say you speak a different language. Let's say you speak Mandarin. If you just said something disparaging to me in Mandarin, I have no idea what you said. So those words would not hurt me in the slightest because I can't even interpret what you just said. Especially if you said them with a smile and a friendly tone, you could say something incredibly disrespectful. I would have no clue. If I start insulting you, in another language, you feel nothing. They don't mean anything to you because it's you who puts the meaning to it. Me, I know what it means, but it doesn't matter how hard I scream them to you. You might start laughing. Take their words, take away the value of the words and drop them to the floor. If you take that away, they fall to the ground. They never get to touch you. They are nothing. So the words themselves aren't what causes the destruction. It's when you say them, I internalize it and personalize it and I allow it to conjure up some triggers I have inside of me and then I start to tell myself a story. You know, I'm getting upset because actually what Michael just said is right. He just said, and, and that's where we have a problem. Ships don't sink because they pass through the water. They only go down when the water passes through them. It is not what is going on around you that's giving you the trouble. It's what's going on inside of you that's giving you the trouble. You have the power to deal with the conditions and the circumstances around you if you could get what is around you from affecting what is inside of you. You could operate from a still place. What matters to you? Mm. Who really shakes your f***ing ground in your world? Mm. If you got a wide variety of who those people are, that's your problem. If anybody can shake your foundation and take a brick from underneath it and make your building fall down, mm. you got bigger problems. <laughs> yeah, that's your problem. That yeah. should come from a solid yeah, nucleus. Yeah. Why is what they just said bothering me so much? And then you start to unpack it and you figure out, well, it's, it's conjuring up feelings of being disrespected. And I don't like feeling disrespected. And it takes me back to when I was a child and maybe someone disrespected me and it embarrassed me in front. And, and you can start to put the pieces together and figure it out. And then once you figured it out, now you take the power back because now you're not worried. Anyone can say or do anything they want and I should be able to have the wherewithal, to have the composure and the poise to not let it dictate my mood or how I'm gonna navigate the world.